The deadline to sign up for federal aid assistance following Hurricane Irma is quickly approaching. The deadline is Friday, November 24th, the day after Thanksgiving. FEMA is working to open a disaster recovery center next week here in Jacksonville. It would allow you the chance to speak one-on-one -on -one with a representative. Joining me this morning are Shauna... Shauna Kay. Shauna Kay. Shauna yeah. Kay, got it right, sorry. <laughs> Mallet with the Small Business Administration and FEMA representative Gerard Hammick. Thank you both for joining us. I You're appreciate welcome. it. Thank Good morning. You so, us. getting people signed up for this to help with their issue, be it homeowners or businesses, I mean, or talk, renters. Walk, renters, walk me through this, yes. So, what do people need to know? Well, people need to know that they, sh they shouldn't self decline. They, if they, by self-decline saying, I can't get this and exactly. I'm not going to bother. If, if, if they were affected by Hurricane Irma, they should probably take the 15 to 20 minutes to register online and get the process started. And maybe they uh, are eligible for some sort of aid, whether it's for replacement of personal property, maybe a primary vehicle. Um, housing rental assistance, housing repair. Uh, it's, FEMA does not duplicate things that are covered by your insurance, mm -hmm. but many people, maybe some people don't have insurance, so. Sure. And then where does the SBA, Small Business Administration, kind of come into play here? Well, for the Small Business Administration, um, we're federal partners with FEMA. So the first step in any process is making sure that you're registered with FEMA um, because there might be other assistance that may be available to you in the future. Um, but we're a critical second step in the process, meaning that you would go to sba.gov forward slash disaster or visit us at a disaster recovery center. Or you can also call us at an 800 number 659-2955. And by going through the process with us, we can help homeowners, renters, businesses, and non for profit And you can help businesses as well? They have options? Yes. So we are at Small Business Administration. And so some misconception that people tend to have is that you're only here for business. So FEMA might refer them to us and you're a homeowner and you're saying, well, why, am I, why is FEMA telling me to go to the Small Business Administration? So as Gerard said, it's important to make sure you're reading that letter all the way to the end where it says you may have been referred to the SBA. You need to complete and submit our application because if we're not a good fit for you, we'd like to get you back to FEMA for possible additional grant consideration. We can't do that if we've never received your application. So just registering with FEMA is not the only step in the process. And they will guide you to the SBA. They will guide, they will guide you through their um, determination letter. Um, but again, reading and, it all the way to the so, end. So I'm going to start with you guys. I'm going to fill out the website. How long until I would get a determination letter? When do I start seeing that? Well, it's supposed to be about two weeks. Uh, we are always hear uh, stories, unfortunately, about uh, snafus and, and delays. And but in general, it's a couple weeks. Yes. OK. And then I get my letter and I start working with SBA for us. You can actually start uh, right away. If you feel that you are impacted in some way and you are a homeowner or a renter, uh, you want to get started as soon as possible um, because you may be waiting on your insurance. Unlike FEMA, SBA does not have to wait for your insurance settlement to come through. We can get you started on the process. And if your insurance settlement, um, you know, if and when it does come through, we will take an assignment and pay down the loan and you'd be responsible for the remaining balance. Are you seeing a lot of folks come to you now? I mean, are people taking advantage? Have you, has the program had success in the last few weeks? Well, yeah, we've had, uh, you know, in Florida, there's uh, more than 2.6 million people have registered with FEMA. Um, right now, I think statewide, more than $900 million has been dispersed for rental assistance, home repairs. I want to back up real quickly, la lastly, on that self-decline thing. That kind of caught my ear when you said it earlier. So uh, you're saying a lot of people are seeing this saying, I can't get any help. Why bother? Is that kind of something that people are doing and they can, they do have options? Well, we're just, we were just concerned about that because you, you're not going to know what your options are unless you register. Right. So there are, there are many different types of assistance, including, you know, the low interest loans. So you got to see what your, what, 
You got to sign up to you find gotta out. You got to sign up to find out. Sure. Right. It's just very important to not compare your uh, disaster to someone else's. You need to make sure you're following through what's best for you. So when we're saying do not self decline, we mean that you should make sure that you're going through the process for you, not what your neighbor said, not what your friend said. What's going to work for you? We're trying to make our resources available to you. And all we're asking is just take a few minutes of your time, either speak to us, go online if you're able to, or visit us at a disaster recover center so that you can get that one-on-one -on -one assistance i gotta wrap it up there guys thank you so much it's very important information i appreciate you coming thank you on. very much thank you so, thank much, you so much and uh, you can register with fema by going to that disaster resistance.gov or by calling that number 1-800-621-3362 the information is on your screen to register with the sba small business administration uh, go to sba.gov disaster or by calling 1-800-659-2955 we'll